What's up guys? Got a uh, new type of video for you here. We're going to go through uh, the most recent post on the alien mobilization before it gets out there. So this one starts in a couple days. Um, and we're just going to see what we got going on here for the prizes. They kind of go over the uh, hives. We're still looking at relatively low payout for the unknown hives. I mean a 55 hive is 15k. A 40 hive is 4,000. So if you guys got a carrier and you can hit the level 45s level 40 hives you know at least you're gonna get something not a ton of points though it's kind of pathetic i wish they would bring that back up to like the 15 30k that was a couple months ago um and it really just hurts the low level players like this is pitiful um they got the co-op hives back in there again and again their point pad is again just as pitiful um we get the reapers the reapers look like they get a slight boost to what they were maybe last month um, so instead of 30,000, it's 32,500 for the 60, 35, blah, 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 blah. You can check it out yourself. But all the way up to the 78, where you get 135,000. Um, I know with the Punishers, we can hit, I, I think we can hit a 65 and clear that. So you get 55,000 points with three Punishers, which the repair time is shit. I mean, it's better just to hit the 32s every two hours. Or the level 60s for 32k points. And the Barrage Hives just insane of what they are um they'll drop the decimator boxes it says so but this is a giant catch-up event so you can actually get the decimator cutter blueprint the punisher blueprint xenia munitions one and two the exal heavy talent armor one and two um i noticed they don't say blueprint here but i'm assuming that's a blueprint because that's the price of what they were um the heavy cluster missile that's probably a full item the exal heavy talent armor that's probably a full item. These heavy talonite armor numbers, they're probably the full items as well, just off the last events. And then all the different resistors, one, two, and three, same price as we always saw. Then we get the gold box and silver box, the only semi-new to this event item that we've seen. Then the same uh, Dominion boxes for patterns, cores, and parts. Um, the gold boxes... Infernal Vector Torpedo, Inferno Wave Driver, Infernal Gatling Ray, um, the Vigilante Battleship, the Heretic Cruiser, or the Freya Carrier, those are the Iron Star, and the Silver Boxes are the Boosted Pulse Ray, the Frenzy Hex Missile, the Frenzy Scatter Missile, the v, the Zeal Battleship, the Corinthian Cruiser, or the Valkyrie Carrier. So the same thing we saw um, in the last, uh, I think it was earlier this month for the boxes, um, the gold boxes for you guys the new players out there bullshit yeah better ships but double the price and let's say you do get some of the weapons you can't fit the infernal stuff on anything but uh Dim dominion demon core um it's useless for us so we're gonna end up with a bunch of stuff that we can't fit on any ships yet and i know that the infernal wave driver is like I think four day or five day or something a refit time. It's insane. I have nothing that I can put on these. So I'll be going with the silver prize boxes for this event. The boosted pulse ray, the frenzy hex missile and the frenzy scatter missile. You can actually fit those on some good ships. You can fit these weapons on your Insta fleets and actually get some good damage with them and actually have some much better outcomes with some of the battles than we would. I'm still trying to get a bunch of them to fit a whole fleet with them so I can actually maybe make a, a higher end insta fleet but that's a good use and if you do get the zeal battleship or the corinthian cruiser or the valkyrie carrier fantastic you have a much better ship than what you currently have or even what you can research so the silver boxes are by far the best box as for the rest of the prizes uh, parts and cores and patterns bullshit we don't need those the resistors Eh, if you didn't get one the last time, get one. But if you're anything like me, you don't want to spend a day fitting these things right now. I don't think that I would have even seen a payoff of a day yet. Um, I haven't done the exact stats, but I mean, for what we're doing with the Punishers, um, if you hit the Reaper fleets, I think four of them shoot laser, which is the only resistance you can get from one of these resistors. They tend to die very fucking quick. Maybe 10% of the damage from them is... 
um, from those lasers. Let's just say 25% of the damage from those is from the lasers. The damage on average, let's just say three hours to make it round, you know, so that's like 45 minutes of repair time for those. Extrapolate that over, you know, five hits a day. So you're like three hours uh, per day of an event in extra repair time that you could save with one of those resistors if you're just using the punishers for the unknown reaper fleets like i am you'd have to you'd be better sir by building another punisher <laughs> um th there's no reason to put those on that ship yet i mean we're not anywhere near we're not up against a high-end fleet that we need that edge we don't need to save that, the alien resist is better suiting for us because those ships seem to last a lot longer. One, because they're farther out and they take longer to actually get to you, so your ships automatically focus on the ships right in front of you, and they seem to be dealing with the laser resist. So they're, I don't know, the resistors, I still have them. I haven't put them on my ships yet. I can't dedicate the times. I'm sure it's how not paying the coins for it. It's ridiculous. As for the rest of the stuff, the heavy talonite armor as a fittable object, looks interesting it's a relatively cheap price you can pick up a couple of those just to play with but the ex and the exal armors are so much better and the exal is the most efficient by far for repair time for weight i guess is the only time when you'd have some issues with you'd want maybe the heavy talonite armor or maybe the uh, EX heavy armor, it, it doesn't seem like there's any point. Definitely not for anybody who's in a position like I'm at right now. Anybody who is starting the game and only has a couple of these ships yet, the heavy armor is not going to help you kill more aliens, get more points, get the better tech. Because that's the point of the game right now. You have to kill the aliens to get the tech to be you know, anywhere near the top. I, I mean, right now, we're still incredibly low if you're in the same position as me and you have one of the Punishers and it, there's no there's no advantage for you. There, there, it's flexibility in future fleets. In future events, in like two, three months, they're probably going to have these again. It, there's no reason to kill yourself to try and get some heavy armor. You, there'll probably be a blueprint release at some point or they'll be throwing them at you like candy later. The EX armor, again, it, it's so specific for just explosive resist on a... Um, Xeno Division ship. There, there's no real need for it. I, I don't see one yet, especially when the EXAL fits on it better. Um, we're, we're definitely not bumping up against the highest end fleets with our ships because we can only, I mean, with, with a fleet bay not 10, you can only put three Punishers in a fleet. I mean, you can't put a fourth one in there. It, 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 you, there's no weight. So you're talking about a fleet bay 12 and 13 and 11, and you're talking months of build time just to get to that. So bullshit for us too you know one or two exal armors fit that being said the payout for this event sucks if you're in the position of me i won't be touching a million points i'll be lucky if i can get to an 800k point in this event or it's it's insane so it kind of writes it off for this event i don't know if you should shoot for the million i think that's a lot to get but if you're at the million i mean i if you're at the 800k for the exal one i'd push for the two um the heavy cluster missiles we just saw them in the last event. They, they don't hit shit. They're not alien damage type. Avoid them. I mean, right now there's no use for those. And it doesn't look like there is going to be use for them. And they're just reusable items. Um, the Xeno Munitions, I got that last time. Hopefully if that was something you guys really wanted, you got that the last event. Um, I, I'm going to skip it. And the Punisher and Decimator Cruisers, the prices are it's so high for this payout. I mean, 130 or 1.35 million... And if you're looking at me, you're looking in, you know, uh, a 4,000 to 8,000 for the hives. And those, I mean, I think you can, I, I have a fleet, you can do the unknown hives with maybe um, 45 minute repair time, half hour repair time. Uh, the math doesn't add up. You can't hit it. Um, the Reaper fleets, going to be hitting those. But again, they're probably two hour repair time for 32 points. It runs a couple of days. How many days does this run? So it runs for, you know, like four days. I, again, I'll probably be looking at 800k points at the highest. I, I had to work a little bit harder to get that last time. So maybe 600k points. Uh, these prices suck. There's no way that d anybody who doesn't have a Punisher 
or decimators can get this blueprint here. This is for people who forgot to get in the last couple events and then catch up. And this is like the fourth time they're offering the cutter. It's ridiculous. There's nothing new. There's nothing great. It's bullshit. However, the advantage you're going to, the, 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 the one leg up this has are the gold and silver boxes. Play this, get your silver boxes, get some better ships. Um, the silver boxes are the only reason I have any ships besides the Xeno ships really that aren't, you know, tier one or tier two. Um, they do help. And I think with the silver, with the sh fleet, the ships that I got from the last silver box, I actually can hit, um, some of the higher fleets, maybe a 55 fleet, uh, the unknown uh, carrier fleets um, and actually not take as much damage. They do help and you can load those up with the manifold missiles and whatnot, but they're more toys. I, I mean, I'd honestly probably be more interested in getting some scatter frenzy scatter missile threes out of it and seeing what I can do with those on say Insta rep fleet. Cause they're more fun. But the only thing in this event for you guys to get silver box, kind of a bullshit event for us. Hope that helps you guys, you know, get your priority in order. Look forward to seeing you in there. Let's get at it.